I'm Max Venus, and in this video, we're going to look at sidechain compression and volume automation in FL Studio. OK, so I've just got this piece of music here, which I'm going to use for the demo. I'm just going to play it back for you. So as you can hear, the kick is actually clashing quite heavily with the bass line. So we're going to use some uh, sidechain compression to get around that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the kick track here, which is coming into Mixer Channel, Mixer Track 5. And I'm just going to uh, observe that it's, uh, the bass is on 7 now as well. Uh, I'm just going to right click now at the bottom here, and I'm going to select sidechain to this track. So what that does is, is it sends a sidechain signal to the, uh, to the bass track. So I'll need to add a compressor now um, to, the, to the bass channel. To the bass track even. Okay, I'm going to select the compression mode and then over here on the right hand side there's an option to add the side chain. So if I just push this up or you can right click it and you can select there you can see that the kick loop is coming in. So the moment the compressor is doing nothing. So what you want to do is just pull down the threshold here, introduce some ratio, I'm just accentuating that, but you can hear now that as the kick is triggered, it's ducking down the volume or compressing the signal. And you can increase the effect by turning up the ratio and reducing the threshold. Okay, so that's how to achieve sidechain compression in a FL using the traditional compression method. Um, so I don't necessarily always use this uh, option. It can be helpful if you're working with maybe a broken beat, but um, I normally opt for a plugin to do this work for me. So I'm just going to bring up the one that I use here, which is called Duck. And you can see it's given me exactly the same sound. I've turned off the limiter now, so there's no compression being applied. You can see I'm easily able to dial in the amount, adjust the curve here, and try and get the same effect this way. This is just a volume reduction. But if you don't have this plugin, you can easily achieve this as well, just by using automation. So I'm just going to delete that, and also going to delete the compressor here. I'm just going to right click on the volume slider here, and I'm going to select Create Your Automation Clip. <clears throat> Okay, so we've created an automation clip and basically we want to create that same shape. So to do that, I'm just going to right click here and copy the value so that I've got the original volume value. I'm just going to paste it over here as well. And then I'm going to create, as the kick hits, you can see above, we've got the baseline down here and we're creating that same shape. So I'm just going to delete that last point so that I've got this shape and I can just repeat it using the brush tool as so. So now we've got a kind of pumping effect using the volume automation. You can play around with the curve and try and get the same effect. So in this video, we looked at the traditional sidechain method in FL Studio using a compressor. We then explored a third-party VST plugin, which I like to use called Duck, and then how to achieve the same effect using a volume automation.